Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to set up our uh, Caterium processing um, production line here. And the purpose of that, if I didn't tell you in the last episode, it's actually been a, a few days since I recorded the last episode because I got a bit ahead of you guys, uh, so thought I'd take a break and, and let you get caught up. Um, anyway, uh, what, I, what I'm planning on doing is setting up uh, a quick wire a production line, actually, to be more precise, so we can just feed that into the sink and uh, just start racking up a bunch of coupons. And, uh, and then, you know, if we end up needing the quick wire uh, later on, usually due to an alternate recipe, um, you know, then we can switch things up at that point. Uh, we are still also um, wrapping things up in this factory, but... Um, you know, there's still a few more things that I, I want to get taken care of before we completely say that it's done and, and move on to our, our new location. Um, all right, so let's see here. I have to remember how I put this together. <laughs> how I put this together before. Um, one thing that's kind of important. Well, actually, no, maybe not so much important because I just remembered I, I decided I was going to change something. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start then with our... Uh, not you. Uh, let's start with our refiners. Uh, this is going to be really tight in here. And I know I said that we wouldn't uh, be doing tight builds because we have plenty of room. But we don't have plenty of room in this factory. And I don't want to expand this particular factory. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to do a bit of a tight build here to get this to work. So, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to push you all the way back there. And then bring you maybe to that location. That might be that might that's going to be a little too tight. I mean, I don't want it so tight that I can't can't move it in between the machines either. So maybe what we'll do is we'll bring it uh, to this seam here. All right, so let's try that. Okay, I think that's probably workable. And it's not uh, in the way of the walls there. Okay. Now, um, I think what I did here was I placed a small a conveyor belt, just one click inside of there. And then we put a splitter on this with the input going there. And actually, I'm not I'm not sure if that belt's actually going in there. So let's re, uh, redo that just to make sure that it actually is. Okay, and then I think what we did here... Again, remember, it's been a couple of... Uh, almost a week, actually, since I last played. Um, let's just temporarily bring that out to there. That's not clipping on anything. Okay, yeah, so that works. And then... Um, we added our first constructor here, lined up to that. Yeah, see, that's gonna, that's actually is gonna clip, isn't it? And come to think of it, I think that I also put a lift here too. Oh, actually, I know, I know what I did. Okay. I didn't do that act after all. I did this instead. And had that go forward that way. And maybe I did this. I, I should probably go... <laughs> I should probably go look and see what I did. Uh, I'm trying, just trying to do this from memory. Okay, if we bump that to yellow... And leave it there and then just put the belt there I think that'll work it's like I said it's really tight but I think it'll work okay uh, then we want a lift coming out of here just gonna stick that up into the roof for the moment it doesn't have to stay there permanently and actually no hold on we're, we're gonna do is this for a moment and that down to there and then put this constructor here. 
Um, I think I needed to pull that out. No, actually, I don't think we do. I think we can have it go in until it's yellow. What are we doing? Okay. Until it's yellow. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put a lift up here. I'll readjust that later. I just need it there for positioning. And then put that there. And then we can run a line into there like that. And it should be a nice 90 degree. Yes, it is. Okay. And we're also going to... Do this as well. Now, this part in the front here, I'm actually doing a little bit differently than what I had originally planned. Uh, and and what that means is that I'm going to place. I'm going to take the awesome sink, or at least at least the awesome sink for this, and I'm going to actually put it up on the roof. It looks kind of cool on the roof because it's got that big satellite dish on it anyway. And. Uh, I think it'll work better and more clean that way. Okay, good. So that's the first part of that. Now we basically need to repeat this. I just have to remember what my uh, positioning is. In fact, we could probably at least roughly gauge that by putting this down first because I don't want the arms of these guys clipping into each other. So it has to come out to there. Um. Okay, and it's got the green line there. Good. Okay, so those won't clip. And that's exactly where I want you to be. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, grab the smelter. And we want it to be lined up with both the constructor and the other smelter, which I think is right there. Um, is that right? Yeah, I believe it is right. Okay. And then we will do the same thing we did here where we put a one line in both out to there. Grab a splitter. Uh, right there. Input on that side. And lined up to this. Redo this belt here. And do this belt here. Put a lift here pointing that direction. Alright. Let me put this in here. Except for I had it go in the wrong direction. this in here put the constructor in here till it's yellow okay how did I screw that up ah this needs to be moved over one yeah that belt's not actually straight anyway okay that I didn't notice that before. Well, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Yeah, that definitely is not right. Okay. Grab this. We want it right on the seam. That should be correct. Okay, now put you in there, point you that way. so easy in this game for something to if you don't really look at it closely it looks like it's correct at first and then you realize later that it's not case in point right okay and then just we'll worry about the direction of that later I just want to put it in place okay take this out uh, nope put this back in 
point in that direction and run this belt into here. Okay. And then put one of these on here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to set, um, we're gonna set you guys to quick wire. Oh, shoot. Um, I think, I think we, we have to actually make the ingots first before the quick wire is unlocked. Right, okay, so um, all right, what we're gonna do then for that is we're gonna grab a lift here and we're gonna put this up to the ceiling and turn it that way. Do the same thing here. Okay, and then we're gonna put a, uh, a merger on you and a splitter on you. Right. Okay. And that can go into... Uh-oh. Did I put that the wrong direction? I think I did. We want the uh, input to be on that side. Yeah. Oh, you know what? No. I got... I did this run. That needs to be the splitter, and this needs to be the merger. I did it bass backwards. Right, input there, and then this is a merger with the output on that side. There we go. Okay. Now... Let's go over here. Yes, I know, it's very tight in here. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna place a Mark II um, lift here. Take it all the way up to the ceiling and then drop it down one. We're gonna put a Mark II belt on you and bring it out to, let's see, where is our going out to here we want to go I think we want it to go right here that looks correct okay Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so um, we're going to set you to Caterium Ingot. And you produce 15 per minute by default. But what we're going to do is we're going to overclock both of these smelters to do uh, 20, uh, 20 per minute. Or take in 60 per minute, produce 20 per minute. And the reason we're going to do that is because we have 120 coming in. And each one of these guys for, well, we, can, we can't see it yet because we haven't unlocked it, but the quick wire uh, takes in 10 per minute. Uh, I, you know what? Here, let, let's, let's, get some, let's get some ingots made first so I can unlock that because I, I can't remember exactly how that worked. I think each one takes in 10 per minute, so maybe we actually need to underclock those. I don't know. Let, let's get it started first and then we'll see. Okay, so for the power, um, what we're going to do is come down this way. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, let's put a stairway on this side of the building, too. And a door here. So we're going to architecture... or Sorry, walls. We want the side wall door. Okay, and then um, it goes over to the third tile. Let's get our stairs. Mm 
Put soup on. There we go. Alright, and then we're going to run this line here up to here. And we want it... I want it to go actually up a little higher than I was doing it before. And I'm, I need to go... I need to go kind of fix those two, but I'll do that off camera. Because if we look at a pole, see that? Oh, that's actually <clears throat> up one higher, but I still like it to be up one higher because then it matches the seam of the the window there. So yeah, that's 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 the height we're going to use those at. Okay, so let's run this line down to here. Um, sure, you can go there. Let's get this fixed up. We want to go with a uh, T crossing here and here. And then just a normal piece there. <clears throat> okay. We'll run this one right on the other side. Okay, now um, our first... Where's our smelter's power thingy? Is it on this side or the other side? I think it's... Oh yeah, it's on the other side. Okay. I might do those off of that wall maybe so let's do these two uh, whoa off of here Whoop. and then we'll do the same thing here we'll bring this over to Right about here. Uh, connect. And connect. All right, let's f f uh, fix this whilst, whilst I'm here. So I want you to go up one. Oh, actually, no, that's a, that's right, that's a double. Oh, it is a double, right, okay. All right, let's remove those two and connect that up to there. And then I want uh, to also, uh, no, that should just be a single. Here, let me go. Whoops, uh, grab it out of here just to make sure I'm getting the right thing. There we go. All right, so put that there. Put that one there. That one there. Take this down here. Get you to there. Get that down there. Get connect you to there. Take this down here and connect you to there. Okay. Want these lower ones any longer? And then we'll run off of there to there. Now, eventually, um, I'll replace. Oh shit! Uh, I'll replace those poles with wall sockets over here, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, so I think we're back in business. 
for all of this. Now we need to get power to the two refiners. And they got a power connector there and one there. I might be able to actually just run it off of here. No, uh, nope, that's maxed out. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what then. I'll figure that part out later. Um, let's just use these power poles for now to get them going. That's not clipping, is it? No. Okay. So. I need to grab a... Uh, there we go. Caterium ingot. Now, did that unlock... Oh, no. You know what? We need to do that in the MAM. That's right. I completely forgot about that. We need to do that in the MAM. Okay, so I loaded some, some of the initial or into here. Let's just temporarily This is very temporary and therefore I'm not too worried about how it looks. Create some ingots there. We'll put another bin here to capture them. And let's go see how many of those we need to research the quick wire. All right, Caterium. We need we need fifty. Okay. Gotcha. You know the other thing I guess I could have done is just done that in here. I think. Yeah. Here, let's let's go ahead and craft five anyways. Okay, so that gives us enough of those. Um, oops. Okay, I'll, I'll grab that stuff later. Let's go get this researched. Ouch. Oh, okay. I hit the stairs. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall all the way down. Uh, let's see. Caterium. Quick wire. Start research. Voila. We got it. All right, I'm going to just stick the rest of this in here and let that feed into the other awesome sink. Now we can go back over here and get this set. Um, no, switch this back to quick wire. There we go. Ah, right. Okay, so it takes in 12 per minute by default. Um, so, how, okay, how was I going to do this? Uh, all right, okay, yeah, so we want we want to out uh, or overclock this machine to do 20 per minute, and we want to underclock these to do, um, uh, to take in 10 per minute. So I think if we set that to 50... Right, okay, so now it takes in 10 per minute. That's what we want it to do there. Okay. Set that to 50, so it takes in 10 per minute. Same thing over here. And same thing here. Okay, we need to go get a couple of power shards. Oh, I guess I have them on me already. That's even better. Okay, so now we want to overclock this so that it's outputting 20 per minute because it's feeding two constructors, both taking in 10 per minute. That's how it works out. Okay, put that there and set this to 20. Uh, so now it's outputting 20 per minute. 20 per minute. Okay, good. So that's set up there. Very good. Now, um, the next part of this little thingamadoodle here is getting everything fed up into a sink up above. So, let's 
let's um yeah let's actually scooch those up through the top of the roof uh, so I know how to place my grommets Um, did I do a stairs to the roof over here? Oh, I did it over there. Okay. Do I have room to pick this stuff up? Uh, take all. Not quite. I'll throw this in the sink. That way it's not going to waste. But I don't have to try and recycle it back in. Okay, so here's how this is going to go down. We're going to put a grommet in. All right. Here's what we'll do. It, yeah, it won't let me actually place it exactly where it's supposed to go, so. You know what, though? If we turn that around the other way, that might be exactly where it needs to go. Because we are going to turn it around the other way. Okay. Let's, um, temporarily... No. Temporarily remove those p pieces and these pieces. So if we put this back in here, but then turn it this way. No, that's, it still needs to go back one, doesn't it? Man, I'd almost say it needs to go back too. No, that's just... Yeah, that's one. Okay. Right here. No, just take this. Bring that back one. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, you come here, and then as far as height goes, I think we want to go one, two, th here. Hold on a sec. All right, guys, I believe I have this figured out. So let's remove these two things here. And we're going to go with a Mark 1 lift coming off of this constructor up through the grommet. And then we're going to go up one, two, three, four, and make sure it's facing towards the north. Let's do the same thing here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I had it. There we go. Okay. We're going to go up six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's all we need to do. For those guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a splitter on here and a merger on here with the out. Um, yeah. Like that. Mm, no. 
We want the output actually to be there. Okay, yeah, just like that. All right, this is a Mark I belt to go into here because it's only going to be carrying 50. But everything after this is going to be uh, Mark II because it will be carrying a hundred, uh, 100. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to get a storage bin. And we want to line it up, not on this seam, but just one over. And the reason, again, I know this is because I I worked it out ahead of time. You just, you know, some people can maybe throw all this stuff together without thinking it through. Not me. I've got, I've got to go through it first. Got to design it first. Um, is that where I want that, though? Yeah, right in the center of here. I think that is where I want that. Okay, we're going to take a Mark II lift and move it that way. And then a Mark II belt and go into here, except for... What did I screw up? I got this bass backwards, don't I? Uh, no, I don't. That's correct. This is the in, that's the out. Um, I did want this going the other way. That's... I did, I did it right the first time. We want the output to go there. Okay. And that gives us a nice little clean 90 degree into there. Very good. All right. Let's grab another Mark II. Put that there. Turn it this way. And then put another one and turn it that way. So we'll do our usual little thing so we can go through here. Let's get back this way. Grab ourselves an awesome sink. And uh, again, make sure it's lined up one over from the seam. Go forward until it hits. Whoop. Back up till it's blue. Reset this to make sure it actually is connected. And there we go. Okay, so that sets up the first one. Now we're going to basically rebuild this in reverse. So let's grab another sink here. Line it up with this one. That is correct, okay. Put a Mark II lift there, a Mark II lift here, a bin here. Let's go here, go forward until it turns green, pull it back one. That is lined up with this other guy. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's reset this to make sure it's actually connected. Another Mark II here. Uh, okay, no. This is where we have to do things a little bit differently. Okay, so what we're going to do with this Mark II is we're going to go up three. One. Is it two or three? I think it's three. We'll find out here in a second. Okay. Um, mark one belt, or no, sorry, uh, splitter here. Merger here with the output on that side. Uh, mark one belt to there because it's only carrying 100. Uh, sorry, only carrying 50. Mark two belts to here. Now we want to come out this way. Um, and yeah, make sure that's straight. Get our line, go back two, go up. Uh, I mean, yeah, that that's touching. I don't like that, which means I, I think I needed to go up higher. Right. Okay, yeah, these need to go <clears throat> up one click higher. I brought them up. I, didn't I bring them up six? I thought I brought them up six. But obviously, that's not going to work. Okay. Let's do this part again. All right. Get a mark. Uh, one lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll bring it up seven. That seems... A that doesn't seem right to me. But, here, let's do this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, that's going to cause us trouble. Let's 
it's going to want to snap into that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's um, make sure the output's there. I want to just uh, double check this before we... That's got to go. Actually, here, let's use these instead. So, you know, that's too damn high. How did that get messed up? Uh, okay. Let's redo this one, then. Let's go up one more. Okay. That's correct. Wait, is it? Yeah. I think so. Is that level? This, these have to go up eight. There's no way. Yeah, these have to go up eight. Not seven. That's why I was thinking in my mind seven didn't seem right. Uh, no, not power line. We want the the lift. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, merger, output there, you go to there. That's level. Okay. Um, mark one belt to there. Oh yeah, we gotta redo this one too. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, something's not drive in here. There we go. Okay, now we just need to get power to our To our guys up here. Um, I think what we'll do for that is let's connect a power uh, outlet. Can we? I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think we can connect that directly into the line like we can do with the poles. Um, okay, so what we're going to have to do then is cut this. Put it there and then to here. Okay. Let's bring if we bring you to there, then we can do this and that. There we go. All right, we finished. We now are feeding 200 quick wire into two awesome sinks. Um, and as you can see, that's it's moving at a 
fairly decent clip. You know, over time, of course, that'll that'll build up some nice coupons for us. And um, you know, that there are some alternate recipes that require quick wire. I don't know if there's any main recipes that do off the top of my head, uh, but there's a lot of alternate recipes that use it. So if we end up needing quick wire for something, um, you know, we we can. Uh, divert some of it to whatever that production might be and also what I might end up doing is I might also pull one of those lines off and fill a storage bin with quick wire too just so we have have it for using you know for research or whatever let's take a look at the MAM real quick here um, let's see Caterium yeah see that's gonna need a hundred quick wire of course, uh, well, we already have that in our inventory. Might as well research it right now. We can do zip lines. Um, Caterium Electronics will need 100. That will need 50. And then who knows what these other ones may need. So, knowing that, I think I will actually divert one of these and we'll fill up a storage bin of Caterium. Do I want to do that? Oh, hold on. Do I want to put it over here so it's with all the rest of our storage? That's copper sheeting. We can't really go any further this way. I mean, we could, but we'd really be blocking that quite a bit. still get through it. It's going to clip into the stairs, though. Yeah, I don't like that idea. If we put it on this side... We can still get around through there. Oh, I didn't even move it all the way over. this way. Nope, we didn't want it that way. Okay. Yeah, what I might... I don't know that we need to fill up th three full bins with Caterium though. Because Caterium is really only going to be used for, you know, research and maybe to build a couple of, you know, equipment kind of items as opposed to machinery. So I think I'm only going to have it do just one. Um, yeah, just fill up one. I guess the question now though is how am I going to actually get that over here? We've got stuff up above here. What do we have directly above here? We've got a... Whatever the hell that is. Oh, that's an assembler. Okay. Well, I'll have to figure this out. I don't want to do that. Do this right this second. Um, so I'll figure that out later. Because there's one more thing I want to do before we wrap up this episode. And that is that I want to go along. We left our tractor out there too. We got to go get it. Uh, but I want to go along and put some concrete supports underneath our road here. Again, for aesthetic and practical reasons, not because the game requires it of us. Um... We've got a decent amount of concrete there, but let's go grab a little bit more. I believe you're the concrete dude. Yes. Let's grab a few more stacks of that. And 
let's turn this stuff into protein. Just to free up a couple slots in our inventory here. And I can go in there. Okay, so the idea here is I'm not going to get super crazy with this, but I want to start in the corner and we're probably going to put a, a support pillar every other uh, a power power line. Yeah, every other power line. Are you loaded? Yes, you're loaded. We got to get ourselves a doggo. It's on the to-do list. It's on the to-do list. The doggo can actually bring us slugs too. He goes out and finds shit and brings it to us. So yeah, that's not a bad deal. Okay, let's switch to this toolbar here. And I'm just gonna put uh, oh, zoot mode. I'm not going to use the, um, the, gr uh, the support thingamadoodles. These things right here, because they're, they don't, they won't flip upside down on these catwalks. I haven't figured out how to do it. So we're just going to do these straight up like so. And because, you know, we have this kind of little angled thing going on here. I, I think we need to have a support on both sides. I'll have to go up there. Well, unless I can, yeah, I guess I can hit that from there because it, it pops one up into the thing. And then when I remove it, then it's just flush with that. Okay. So yeah, the idea here is that we're going to go every other power line Our power pole like so Oop. put that thing away okay let's do this you know what I changed my mind we're gonna go every power pole because it just seems like that would be more realistic for supports. We've got plenty of concrete. Might as well do it that way. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. More, more like it should be. All right. What we might end up doing here is uh, there's like no sh uh, we got a shore here. Whoa. Hold on. this on the global all right so our first power lines actually over here right there Touching? Yep, it is. Okay.
Um, okay, so we have a problem. I wonder if I accidentally cut something I didn't mean to. Yeah, I think I accidentally zipped a power line somewhere. All right, well, we're going to have to run along and see if we can figure out where that's at. Oh, yep, it's all the way back here. I forgot to reconnect this. There we go. So that should have fixed that. All right, I'm gonna run back along the road here to uh, just confirm that it's, everything's good. And then we'll grab our tractor, drive it back to the factory. All right, guys, um, everything's working uh, over at our uh, miner over there. And uh, so I brought the tractor back to the factory and uh, gave it a little bit of thought about how I'm going to get stuff down to the storage there. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on that next. Actually, hold on. Um, put that back for just a second. I want to get a grommet down here. Should be right. Okay. Uh, so, so basically, uh, I'm going to leave all of this in place so I can easily set this back up later and yeah that should be good there so let's go over this way and the grommets right there so we'll put a mark to conveyor there and just point it that direction And now what we have to do is, okay, so we're right on the other side of this scene. What's, what's down below here? Okay, there's our, there's our dude right there. Uh, let's put a Mark II belt here and turn it this way. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll Bring this to here, I think to that seam there, but I want to bring it back to that way and then I want to go I think to there. Let's grab a Mark II lift that down to here and turn it that way. Mark 4 belt goes into there and that should do it. So yeah, the idea here is we'll fill up the uh, we'll fill this bin up full of quick wire. Uh, just a single storage. I don't think we'll need more than that. And if we do, of course, we can just hook this back up. And then once that's completely full, you know, then I'll just change that lift back up on the roof to go back into the awesome sink. So that was easy enough. Okay. Still have some machines that are not running at 100% efficiency. So my plan is to, to try and f see if I can, f you know, figure that out before we before we completely um, call this factory finished okay so let's see what's left to do here uh, we need to set up our screw production line um, for our assemblers that are up on the next floor I talked about that in one or two or three episodes ago uh, so that has to happen and um, I'm probably gonna do that one offline and then just show you the results of it. But the if, if you don't remember me talking about that or you didn't see that episode, basically at the moment for our one of our assemblers here, um, we're currently just using our surplus screws um, in here, I think. Yeah, uh, to make these, these copper rotors. But... Um, 
I'm not producing enough screws to sustain this. Plus, we also want to switch this over to the alternate bolted frame recipe, which will also need screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a another uh, screw production line to support both of these assemblers um, in the final configuration. And that way we can switch to these other frames, which are uh, is a much better recipe. Uh, this will output... Um, this does three... Three... Uh, no, two per minute. Whereas this one... Wait, what am I doing? Knock it off. Uh, this one does five per minute. So we want we want to switch over to this one as soon as we can, but I, d I don't have enough screws to support it at the moment. So we're going to set up that little screw production line. Um, there's a little bit of trim work that I want to do on the outside of the factory. Um, I'll give you just kind of a the flavor of that, uh, but the idea was I, I think I'm going to take um, these shorter concrete pieces. If I can get that to uh, go in there the way I want it to. There. And, you know, do something kind of like this. Just to add a little more, you know, flavor to our, our factory here. Yeah, I like that. And we'll do um, we'll do that at the top too. Actually, maybe I won't do that at the top, only because then we can't see when we're up on the roof. We can't see the beautiful view. Just kind of glitch into the stairs a little bit there, but I'm probably not going to lose any sleep over that. We could, we could, um, well, if what if we came down one? All right. If we're going to do that, then maybe what we do is, is this. Oops, try that again. Careful not to grab the rest of the... Yeah, that could work. Maybe, maybe still keep the bottom one there too. Yeah, I, I I think I could live with that. I think I can live with that. Um, let's do this side too, so we we can see what the the full side of the building will look like. Let's go out here and take a look at it. Oh, I forgot to do the forgot to do that top one. But I like that. I think that'll work. Okay, so yeah, I'll just go along um, all along the edge of the the place and do the same thing on the other two sides. It just adds a little more flavor to things, you know. But I like that. Okay, so, yeah, let's recap. Um, I need to set up the screw production line. I need to finish the trim work. And I also want to tidy up the electrical a little bit more inside the factory here. 
um, like raise these lines up to that seam like I did earlier and get that done. And then after that, I think, I think we'll be done with this factory. I think we're going to call it good. And uh, it'll be, you know, it's our first, our, our first factory of the series. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came together. And then uh, the plan will be, of course, to, to move down uh, along the west coast, uh, down that way, and set up our larger factory, which will start with steel production. And also, of course, we need to set up a, a large coal power plant. This is just a, a little baby power plant here, so we got to set up a big one of these, um, you know, to support our power. And that is the plan moving forward. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.